As you can see, the lead is low, more low. Uh, this female line, they're following the side of the the rest of the part where the come across. Well, this is one of the parts that have a lot of youngsters around in the area. So we're gonna stick with them around in the bushes, try to see where they're going. But definitely they're going towards the big drainage land where they normally hide the cubs. It's a very good news because they all have come back here, which is one thing that we really we were looking forward for the pride to come back. Lion relied quite a lot of uh, sense of smell. Hearing outside at night is very good, but during the day, really, they depend on the sense of smell and hearing. Let's try to follow them around the bushes here. We're not gonna make it here. Lion is to move in in a very, very ugly bush. We have to drive back and try to go towards the drainage system where normally they hide the cubs. We might be lucky there. Charles, if you talk to me now, we stand by the guy at night. Ah, yeah. I'm going to stand by the guy at night. The guy at night.
talking to Charles who is following the the lines, the heading towards Gary Catlan. I'm going to stand by from the other side of the the block itself called Gary Catlan. The same they're heading to the same spot where we have seen them with the cups previously, so we're gonna try to head that direction. Expecting those lines to come out from somewhere here towards wherever we're driving. So we're gonna check here towards the cut line if there's no other tracks for the female with the youngster. Really, there's no tracks here, still, they now are left here. Getting um, Charles to just drop past here. Those are uh, two female lines that just crossed behind us and headed into. They went to the same area where we have seen them previously with the cops lying down there. They might be having. Charles, Charles. 